Welcome by the Franchise TV on this YouTube channel. I'll unbox anything. Today we actually have a Funko Pop mystery box from the company Boom Loot. We have a imperfect pack of six Funko Pop mystery box. This shipped way back in January, so it has been for a few months. Whenever I get box, I always write, I usually try to remember to write what I paid for them so I know what I'm even opening up. So there's, this actually has two mystery boxes in here. It was $55 a piece times two, so it's, so it's probably a max of two then. So this actually costs $110. So there should be a total of 12 pops in here. And you're, you're paying less than, you're paying like what? $9 a pop-ish. So there's, there's there'll probably be any kind of major grails in here, but you could get some decent stuff out. Let's find out. You ready to do this? Let's crack. Let's see what we got. Imperfect pack of six, which means some of these could have some light damage on them. But Boom Loot always puts good value to the boxes. So even if it's like imperfect boxes that aren't really like super expensive, you can still get out. You got some decent hits still. You still got decent ones. So here's what we're looking at right here. We got two Boom Loot boxes to open up in a one video. And they are still sealed up. So let's just do this one first. Originally this was a classic She-Ra box that they just re reused it from the mystery box. Here we go. No peeking. Nothing in protectors. So who knows which one's gonna be the best one. I'm trying hard not to look down. Get the first one out. Kind of close it up. Who we have? We have Fallout 4. And this is Piper from Fallout 4. I've actually never, no, I've never played Fallout 4. This came out and I dropped it. I dropped it. We're back. <laughs> so thankfully, I don't see any damage from when I dropped it. Well, these are imperfect boxes. They didn't take any extra damage. There's carpet in this room that probably saved it from getting like a corner ding. But I actually want to look up as we go along the video, we'll look on the WhatNot app and see prices, the PPG price on WhatNot, it'll show you. And if you don't want to pop, just sell it on WhatNot. Too easy, right? 14 bucks. So this first one, 14 bucks PPG. Okay, okay. Number two, we have Harlequin Demon. Oh, this thing actually, this thing used to have value to it. It, when it first came out, this thing was worth a little bit of money. The Harley Quinn Demon, Barnes Noble Exclusive, Glows in the Dark. I wonder if this thing is done. In, I haven't looked this thing up in a couple years now. This used to be a desired pop when it first came out. You couldn't find it anywhere. I'm sure it's long vaulted now. But it's worth... Oh, that's it. it thing, wow, this thing plummeted in value. That stinks. Really? 11 bucks. It used to be worth it used to be worth quite a bit more than that. Eleven bucks. Here we go. Number three, we have SSGSS Goku. Hot topic exclusive. Two-year-old pop. So far, like they're not, nothing's been damaged. They're not like perfect boxes. They always have like one small little like nick on them or something, or some small, but there's nothing actually like damaged. And this one's worth the whole $16. So right now we're at 41 bucks for the first three pops. Next we have Penny, Big Bang Theory Penny. Okay, what we got on this one? Most of these pops seem like they're like two, two years old. They probably bought out some collection, you know, 12 bucks. So not super expensive. But yeah, they probably bought out a collection, I bet of uh, pops from like, you know, 2019. Here we go, next one, we have Taxi Driver. I've had this one before, Travis Bickle, I've had this one before. I think he's actually worth a little bit of money. Box this is actually on him. His box is minty. That's minty right there. Yeah, last time I looked at him, I think, I think he was like 50 bucks, I think. I think he was. Ooh, $75 from 2015, nice. This box is minty too. There's nothing wrong with this box. There's nothing. Windows not scratched up, nothing. So that box right there, that pop has that 128. We've already got more than what we paid for both boxes in the first five pops. Not too bad. Here, next, last one we have the Office 
we have Stanley with Pretzel, GameStop exclusive. Sweet. Has a small little dinger head on top of the box. But nothing's actually like damage. It's small, very small blemishes. But some of these boxes, there's nothing wrong with them. Stanley is 22 bucks. So this first box, looking at $150 on the dot. Wow. So each box was only $55. This first box, it was triple, triple the value. That is, that is a nice box. Triple. They usually don't put that much value into these cheaper boxes. But you know what? I'll take it. <laughs> So there's the first box. We have one more left still. This video is not done yet. Here we go. Box number two. Come on. Let's have another like killer box. Yeah, you could have bought these, like I said, 55 bucks a box. Six pops. Let's again feel around. No protectors. Let's just start digging in. Who do we get? First one. Oh, there's a good one. We got the Deadpool Chimichanga. 7-Eleven exclusive. This one was like super hard to find in stores. This one was incredibly hard to find. I managed to catch a restock on, they actually, they used to sell these on their eBay account, on eBay, the 7-Eleven eBay account. And I caught quite a few like short little restocks on eBay and, and like I got a few and, and I resold them, but I never saw these in stores. Only seven, that went down in value. 17 bucks. It used to be worth quite a bit more than that. You just never know. Pops go up, pops go down. Next one. We have Mr. Sinister from the X-Men. Walmart exclusive Mr. Sinister. Well, when was this made? I think a year or two ago, I think. Value on Mr. Sinister. Walmart exclusive. We're looking at seven bucks going down. And he is metallic. But no matter what though, we're now we're at 174 bucks. <laughs> we're already way overvalued. And all these pops will be for sale in a future whatnot auction too. Make sure you follow me on whatnot and Instagram where I will announce when my next whatnot auction is going to be. We got Bambi. Disney Treasure exclusive Bambi. That's a nice hit. Probably has a little bit of value to it. It has no scannable barcode either. I'm gonna do this thing manually. It says it has a PPG value of 20 bucks. Only one person selling it too for 28. So PPG of 20 bucks on Whatnot app. That gives us right there at 194. Three pops left. Next one, we have Carl. Carl from, not too sure what Disney show that is. Carl, this is, I think this might be an older pop. Or actually it might be a restock too of an older pop. Okay, found it. It's from the Up movie, Carl. It says PPG on this is $19. Quite a few people are actually selling it on whatnot. You probably can't see the camera, but quite a few people are trying to sell it on whatnot. Between like, actually around like $20 average. But saying it's $19. Pop is actually no damage on it either. Right now we're at over 200 bucks. We got two pops left still. Next one. We have, oh, this is the um, Australian one. Bushfire Heroes. I've had this thing a few times now. Available at Pop Culture. This box is minty too. Minty. So let's see once again. Value on Bushfire Heroes is 29 bucks. Not too bad. Plus 29. One pop left. You ready? Last one. Oh, we we have a Carol from The Walking Dead. Carol is a 2016 pop too. Box, not too bad of shape either. A couple small blemishes for the age of it, but all in all, it's actually not that bad. It's like 8.5 out of 10 condition. It's not bad. And we're looking at a value of Carol of, oh, the bloody's 50. This isn't the bloody one, of 25 bucks. Okay, so this last one gives the grand total $267. I bought both these for 110 I got over $150 more in value more than a double up that is and nothing here was really was really damaged like they weren't nothing was damaged they were all most of these had like small little flaws on them or small blemishes but no damage some of these were perfectly mint 
So this was a very good mystery box. Boom loot once again. You knocked it out of the freaking park. So I'll see you in the future on this YouTube channel. I'll unbox anything. Thank you.